<laughs> oh, hi there. You read on fan loud and annoying like this one or has it quit already? Did you know you could swap it out yourself? Let me show you how. First, let's unplug that thing so you can hear me. Next, you're gonna need a nut driver, 5 16th variety, or a flat blade screwdriver. Then we're gonna loosen up the two worm drive screws that hold the radon fan in place. Then we can turn this to break that seal a little bit easier. And we'll take the fan out as easy as that. If you're looking to replace your radon fan, I've got two resources to tell you about before we get back to the video. The first is our Amazon store where you'll find radon alarms, monitors, tools, replacement parts, and fans. The second is our radon fan replacement guide. Since manufacturers periodically change model names or discontinue fans, we've created this guide to help you choose the correct replacement fan. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment to learn more. Now I've got my replacement fan. This happens to be the same make and model. We're going to install that. You can level your fan if you'd like and you have a level handy. And then you're gonna pull the pipe back down through the roof and you want to make sure that neoprene gasket up there is sealed around the pipe rather than pulled down uh, around the pipe because you could get a leak that way. Now we're just going to tighten everything back up. Be sure to tighten this. Don't skip this step because you could get a leak. So once everything's tight and plumb, you can simply plug that radon fan back in. And we can hear this one's a lot quieter. We'll put links to different radon fans in the description below. Until next time, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching.